Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, May 29, 2010. This week, Swatch Watch, how to choose foreground and background colors in Photoshop and Elements. School is out and summertime is finally here. Our cameras get a workout this time of the year, photographing summertime activities and sights. From brightly colored beach balls to azure blue skies, golden sunsets to candy colored snow cones, our photos and scrapbooks will be awash in color. Over the next few weeks, our tips will focus on using the Color Swatches panel to select colors for your digital projects. Whether you want to pull colors from your photos or a website or the swatches included with your software, these Swatch Watch tips will show you how to get the most from the Color Swatches panel. To grab a foreground color from a photo, Get the eyedropper tool by pressing the letter I on your keyboard. In the options bar, select your sample size. I like to use a 3x3 sampling, which takes an average of the colors around the spot where I click. If you use the point sample, you have to be very exact and click on the one pixel that contains the color that you want. Using 3x3 or 5x5 takes an average of the color values surrounding the cursor. Click anywhere on your photo to select a color. You'll see the foreground color chip fill with the color that you've clicked on. Press the Alt key or on a Mac system the Option key as you click to select a color for the background. I'm going to select this blue for my background color. You'll see the background color chip fill with the color that you've selected. To switch the foreground and background colors, press X on your keyboard and you'll see that they reverse. To return to a black and white foreground and background color, just press D on your keyboard. Choosing a color from your color swatches panel is even easier than this. If you don't see the color swatches panel, you can activate it by choosing window and then swatches or color swatches or show swatches depending on your software. When you have the color swatches panel activated, it doesn't matter what tool you have selected because when you move your cursor over to the color swatches panel and click, it automatically changes into an eyedropper tool. Click any of the colors to select a new foreground color. Then press Control or on a Mac system Command as you click to select a new background color. The foreground color is important in Photoshop and Elements because many of the tools use this color as digital ink. The paint and pencil tools, the type tools, the shape tools, and many of the filters use the color that you have selected to perform their function. Next week we'll learn how to give your project a more cohesive look with your own set of colors. I always enjoy hearing from you. Is there a technique that has you stumped? Email me at howto at designerdigitals.com with your idea and I may be able to help you with a video tip too.